So the new data out today is the PMI data, which uh, you could see some positive numbers in it, but bottom line, when you look at it, it suggests that Europe barely avoided recession, 0.1% growth for last year. And, and a lot of these countries have so much debt, they absolutely need that growth for the tax revenue to pay back their debt. So data continues to be bad. Add to that, what to me is remarkable, consensus is that Mario Draghi is finally going to do quantitative easing in two weeks. Like, right. there is now no doubt in the markets so about that. Do, they've already gotten all If, the if they don't right? do it, it's a huge risk, right? right. But, but if they... If they everybody believes they're doing it, why isn't that market rallying in a way that we would have seen in the United States, right? Because there's fears Stocks about... Dropped. I mean, if you look at the yields, the yields are yes. down substantially. That's where it's already played out. Yes, for sure. But there's concerns that either it's not going to be enough quantitatively, can they get do enough, yeah. and qualitatively, is it enough? Because there's so many things that haven't been done when it comes to reforms. Greece is totally emblematic of that. I would add... Oil is not as relatively helpful to the Europeans as it is to the United States for the simple reason they don't drive like we do, right? right? Number one. Two, all those governments load up lots and lots of taxes on the price of gasoline. So when you see the underlying commodity fall, you don't necessarily see it translate to the European consumer in a way that we see it so uh, viscerally here in the United States. Um, and then finally, this fear that if one country left the whole euro would fall apart as a currency, that's clearly gone away. The European leaders do not believe that Greece leaving is now an overall <clears throat> existential threat to the euro. To wit, Olan, the president of France yesterday, saying if the, it's up to the Greeks to decide whether or not they're going to stay in the euro. That's very different than a couple of years ago when they said the euro is irreversible. Is this tough talk? I mean, you mentioned yesterday yes. that this is the, the Germans who are trying to say, look, you guys better be careful with what you do with these elections. Right. So in a couple of weeks, there's a Greek election to believe that a leftist is going to come to ha get the most votes and therefore possibly control the parliament. And he's planned to do a showdown with Europe about the massive debt that they still have. And so Germany over the weekend, through leaks, and now Hollande yesterday suggesting, you want to you have a showdown? Let's have a showdown. You're not going to blackmail us into giving you even more bailout money or doing things when you haven't done a lot of reforms, um, when you still have a, a government that can't rely on, on the tax revenue that it's got at this point.